Wednesday on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Brian quits the ranch to become a freewheeling cowboy. Let's just say that I need a challenge. But his new freedom could cost him his life. Wednesday. Friday on the Dukes of Hazard, it's the hottest election news ever when Huey Hall and his gang use blackmail to take over Hazard County. Friday. Saturday on CBS, the creepiest, sneakiest holiday villain of them all is back. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Then... No sense in hanging stockings, Dad. ...was the night before Christmas and only one mouse could make sure that Santa got to everyone's house. Great holiday moments, Saturday night on CBS. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. The president says in an effort to salvage the MX, he has compromised on the MX. He wants Congress to indicate a willingness to build the missiles and later vote on where and how to base them. A woman wanted in connection with the Tylenol case gave herself up in Chicago today. Leanne Lewis's husband had been arrested yesterday. They allegedly attempted to extort money from Tylenol's manufacturer, and a U.S. attorney alleged today that the Lewises had also threatened the life of President Reagan. The man with the plastic heart, Barney Clark, was operated on again today. A valve in the artificial heart was malfunctioning and had to be replaced. Clark is now suffering from a slight case of pneumonia. A congressional inquiry has cleared House members and pages of sexual misconduct, but an investigation into alleged drug use will continue. Today, gas costs more, that's a fact. But in most places, gas costs less than other energies, today and tomorrow. I'm Orton Dean, CBS News, New York. More news later on this CBS station. This is CBS.